Welcome back to the channel, and today on Sip the Tally Films, we're going to take a look at the top 10 plays from last Saturday's game versus the Atlanta Falcons. Basically, look at the, the 10 plays we got the, the most yards on and kind of break down what happened and what didn't happen or maybe what should have happened. But these are the 10 most explosive plays, and I use explosive loosely because in my book, we only had three explosive plays, and um, we're going to go from there. So here we go. All right, before we move on to the video, I want to send a personal thank you to every member to the channel and every patron. And I want to run through this list so you can get your shout out for joining the channel, being a a member and being a, a critical part to the success of this channel. Uh, Teresa Bailey, Joy Walker, CBG Gre three green, uh, Amar. I can't pronounce the last name. Amar in. I just leave it at that. Thomas Morgan, Cyrus K King Ray 48, Adam Johnson, Noah Driscoll, what you call it. P Brownie, OG rail, adult swim 88, uh, 33 lady Ram, YNG brew, Jared green, Heather McCubbins, Ravens fans, Lump, Lumpy Joe, I think that's how you say it, Ed Tech, uh, and Brandon. And as for the Patreons, which you may hear some of the same names, uh, Hendo, uh, D. Weathersley, Jay Hoffman, uh, the LBHT crew, uh, Rock Boy, Brent, uh, Chris E., Miss Too Much, Mo, Alex, uh, Jason, Jesse Wallace, B. again, and Jared again. So thank you guys for being an integral part of what helps this channel to function and to grow and to keep giving out good content. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so this is number 10 on the list. And I'm going to give you the situation. You'll see the situation down here. And the gain will be at the end of the play, like how long the play was. So it's second and, and 10 from the minus 23. It's six minutes, 17 seconds left in the third quarter. This is number 10. Your 10 most explosive play or 10 most yards gained. It's this number 10. Because we only really had three explosives. And I had a four fingers like, bro, man. But we really had three explosives. My bad. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. The view you're going to get going to kind of give it away. If it's like this and it's an all-22 view, it's a pass. If it's the end zone view, it's a run. So, <laughs> this one's the DJ. And we really, you know, kind of gave them a, a piece of their own medicine. If you watch this game and watch it a couple of times, you'll notice that the Falcons ran outside zone and then tried to boot off of a boatload, which is what we do. And so you see the outside zone going. You see all their guys kind of committed to stopping it, linebackers included. And, you know, DJ is kind of lollygagging. Mark's running the route. But because of Mark's inside, 27 can't just let him free release. So this is the route DJ can run, let out route. Really, like I said, giving them a taste of their own medicine. And he has to respect Mark and put hands on Mark. So now with that being said, 24 has to lock in on Mark. Because look at everybody else is here. It really ain't but three people left to defend this play. You got Snoop, uh, D Jack, and Mark versus whoever this is, 24 in the safety. And so 24 has to lock in on Mark. This dude is out leveraged because of Mark with the inside release. And Tyler Huntley come out with a good throw. Because he's chasing now. He's in turbo position. You just need a good throw to put it on him. And he gets it. 10-yard gain. 10-yard gain for D-Jack off a of, uh, play-action boot. Let's go on to number nine on the list. Number nine. Second and 10. The minus 30. 909 left in the second quarter. Yeah, obviously, this is a run because of the, the view. You're getting, um, what's this? Long trap. And I think it's long trap. I could be wrong, but I think it's long trap. And what I'm what and I forgot to add this one on there. But you're getting down blocks by all these guys. You're gonna get Zyler gonna pull and get number nine. See, number nine is the, the guy Zyler's gonna trap and watch. And it could I, it could be a different play, but I think it's long trap. It's I probably should say longer trap because it ends up being way out here. The original trap hits right here. Long trap kind of hits. In this area right here. But this is 
the longest trap. So if this is what it is, it may be something else. I could be wrong. You know, it is what it is. Boom, right there. Look at that kick out. Good job by Zyla. Good position. Everybody else, hat on the hat. There, 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 there. Look at the hole. Look at that space. He runs over one cat. Again, 11-yard game. So this is number nine. Long trap. You'll see it. You're going to try to trap number nine. And it's like it's just like a kick out, you know. Kick him out, bam, go to the hole. After all your down blocks. It's a good job with, and I just noticed it, with Mark and, um, no, that's not Mark, Oliver and these two guys, Oliver and uh, Demarcus Robinson. Their blocks really seal it. You got Oliver right here on 54. You got um, Robinson not letting 27 get in the mix. Got your down blocks right here, which make a wall. Got that kick out, these two blocks. Everybody doing their part. 11-yard game. Let's go to number eight. Play number eight. Situation. Second and four from the minus 49. Uh, it's five minutes and 56 seconds left in the first quarter. And obviously you get a run. So what we talked about last week and the week before that, we run counter. If there's a three technique, Ben Powers will block, block out. Then you get Linderbaum, and you get Stanley to pull on this counter. That's what you would normally get. But watch. Watch how fast he shifts. Because he jump, he kind of jumps over there before the play. And had he had he been there pre-snap, you would have got that block back and these two pulling. That's what you would have got. But him jumping at the last minute kind of confuses him, and he gets leverage on Ben Powers. Because Ben thinks he's just going to take that block. This dude shoots this gap, and now he's – Kind of mucking the play up. Because if he's there pre-snap, Linderbaum blocks him and then Powers pulls if he's there pre-snap. But he's not. So now he's winning on that inside leverage. This cat's coming to win on Boyle on that inside leverage. And I didn't even realize Nick Boyle had played. And, but Gus see it. Gus see all this happening in front of him. Which is a good thing about Pistol. And the flow, everything's supposed to go in this direction. You got your pullers, you got Linderbaum pulling, you got Stanley pulling. But again, he won that gap. He's winning that gap. Gus saw all that trickeration, not trickeration, that losing blocks up front. But it's a good play by him. I ain't really trying to, you know, throw blame or shade on nobody. It was a good play by him. He jumped snap count and then jumped the gap. But Gus saw it. And I, I've been criticizing Gus about being able to start and stop. Watch, he Look how he stuck that foot in the ground and got the backside. Now, it's one-on-one -on -one with that cat. And like Mike told somebody when he was going on one-on-one, -on -one, this really ain't the place you want to be right now. He ain't trying to make that tackle. He just running. <laughs> this man ran 12 yards just jogging with Gus. He like they're having a conversation. He ain't trying to close that gap at all. Gus closed the gap, not him. They having a nice stroll, trying to work on his cardio. That man made a business decision, 11-yard game. Let's go to play seven. Play number seven. It's first and 10, minus 28. Uh, four, this is basically the first play of the game. Basically the first play of the game. You get outside zone, which I love. I love it with this dude right here running the outside zone. Love it. Look at that. Hat on the hat for everybody. Powell's hat on a hat. Lindenbaum getting on second level, hat on a hat. Zeitler hat on a hat. Moses hat on a hat. Ricard hat on a hat. Andrews hat on a hat. I love it. That's what zone blocking is about. Run your track, find the person in your track, and then let the back be a back. So we got all those good black blocks front side, which is what it should be. Now, at this point, hold on, right there. Look what Ricard did. Pancake Pat did live up to his name on that one. But again, Powers was winning at first. He's in the right spot here, but he allows the guy to cross his face. So now he's losing, and this guy's in the gap. But again, it's crazy. J.K. is going through this gap, and he won't touch him. Watch. He's not going to touch him. I'm in slow motion. 
J.K. right there. The cat that's in the gap that J.K. is going is not going to touch him. Look at the little jump cut. That lets me know that knee's getting better. The little, little jump cut. Mm, 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 mm. Now, that is pivoting off both. That's that's his left ankle or knee. That's his right knee. So, whichever one is bad, I'm, I'm not sure off the top of my head. And then it, it'll get through the hole. Again, the guy that this is the guy right there. Never touched him. Never touched him. 11 yard game for JK. Let's go to play six, I think we're on. Hmm, situation. First and 10, minus 42. One minute, 42 seconds left in the third quarter. And that's the route you're going to get from Mark. He's going he's to kind of work it and try to kind of see where the zone is, and he's going to find a soft spot and sit in the zone. And you're going to see a little wiggle from him left and right, but he's really trying to figure out where guys are and where he can hitch up and kind of find the, the most space. And it, for this reason alone is why a lot of NFL guys don't run routes full speed. And, you know, a lot of fans be like, why did I run it? But he's looking for the soft spot in the zone. He's looking to get open, basically. So he's just trying to figure it out. Bam, just sit down right there. Look at the, the soft spot. Huntley got the ball out on time. Ain't much you can ask for on that. 12 yard game. Yeah, you, like I said, you see him transitioning going left to right. That's him trying to find the soft spot. And they're playing. They're in, are they in cover three? Let me see. And the play action got him a little bit. So I think they're in cover three. And play, they kind of bit on the play action, so they scrambling. He's just setting us a soft spot. It's two man route, so shoot, I just realized that. What number the two man route? It's a good job. He good thing he did. He did a good job of finding that soft spot. Because the only person going out is him and Sammy. But it's a good play fake. Let's look at the linebacker, see if they bite on it. Heck yeah, they bite on it. Look at both of them up in that line of scrimmage. They ain't tight well, like where we want them at, but both of them way up there. And that gave them the space. They had marked the space to get behind him. Because he's not in scramble. They scrambling now to drop back. And he never even takes his eyes off of Huntley to find a receiver. This dude did. That's why he's kind of underneath Sammy. This dude just dropped. He never, like, glanced around to find where the receiver was. Which is now why Mark has his space. Because if he look over there and get his eyes on Mark, I'm sure he's going to drop this way. Then there's nowhere to throw the ball. Because he he's underneath Sammy. He'd be underneath Mark. Then these guys would be over top of them. But... He did. That's the importance of looking at guys in the draft, like how they drop and can they drop. Now let's go to play five. Obviously a run. What's the situation? First and 10 from the minus two, 639 in the fourth quarter. So at this point, we're trying to salt this game away, trying to put our four minutes. I know it's 632, but you want your four minute offense not to give the ball back no more. And you start to drive off like this. Which is excellent. Excellent. Split zone read. Now you got solo blocks. Andrews, Stanley, Powers. And you got a little double right here, but I'll show you later. And you got Moses coming off of that. You got Oliver right there. Everybody's solo blocks. Again, zone, run your track, and whoever show up in it, that's where you go. Then you got Linderbaum going to come off this double and go get the linebacker. Right there. So now, nah, everybody's a hat on a hat, still. Hat on a hat, this cat's going to get picked up by Ricard, being the slice guy. That's why it's called split zone, because he's splitting the formation. And Gustin just goes straight downhill. Straight downhill off of, off of uh, Ricard. Look at that. Look at that gap. Now, again, is this the same dude? Now, you pie phase that cat. Pie phase 27, Grant. And got a, what, like a 14? Let me see. I didn't put the gain on there. I'll tell you here in a second. From the minus two, 14-yard gain. Great blocking up front. Again, ever since I called out Jody, and I'm sure he watched it, ha, 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 the old line been on point. They have been on point. I mean, you can't ask for better zone blocking than that. Everybody's a half and a half. Look at Stanley. Look at Stanley right here. This is perfection. As, you know, for guys that, that love O-line play and maybe coach O-line or like O-line, that is perfection. Well, well with, with his with his body. 
Now, his hands probably need to be in there, though. Hands probably need to be up in here, but body-wise, perfection. And you get a 14-yard gain out of that good blocking. But again, Gus has to have, for the, for the most part, for the most part, Gus has to have good blocking like this. Again, he saw that one play earlier and, and cut back, but for the most part, Gus needs this stuff to happen. And when he do, it makes it tough on these little bitty guys because they don't want tackling at all. Let's move on to number four. I think, yeah, number four. Yeah, number four. First and 10, plus the positive. We're on the positive side now. 46-yard line. You got, uh, who's it, JK back there, I think? Look at all this. Look at how close everybody is to the line. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. Everybody in this box. All 11. It might be all 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All 22 people in this screen right here. <laughs> Spread some people out, man. Come on, Roman. Get some people out the box. But I guess it don't really matter because you rip off this, what I think is this trap again, and they kind of fit it better. And J.K. can't really hit the right here off of record, so he just bounces it. Outruns, guys. And, and in this case, it, it worked because everybody's in the box. He was able to get, you know, break contain, and, and they really didn't seal contain like they should have. And it turned into a 14-yard game. And this was that long trap again, I think. And Atlanta just fit it better. They look at three up in there. They just fit it better. Yeah, you're going to break, break outside because they don't really have a contain guy. Contain block guy is 32. He's getting blocked. That's a great job by DeMarcus Robinson. DeMarcus, he blocks better than I thought. Blocks better than I thought. It looks like he's a willing blocker. But let's go on to play number three. Play three. So now we get into our explosives. Now we're going to get into our explosives. It's third and five from the minus 49, 14.54 left in the second quarter. And again, Mark does something a lot of receivers don't do. Mark gonna run a little nine route to fade. And he's right, look where he starts at. He starts right, kind of like the middle of the numbers. In the past, D Jack and Duve and everybody else, they just run straight to the sideline, try to run up the sideline. And obviously that's not the sideline, but you get where I'm coming from. Oh, I forgot to put that back up there. My bad. But you get where I'm coming from. Mark gets on top of his guy, which is down here. He gets on top of his guy, and it's going to kind of work back this way instead of going to the sideline, which helps the quarterback out. Just watch Mark. He's going to start trying to work back to the middle of the field. See? Now, and it's, it's slight, but look how much room he has to the sideline. Let me take this down again so you can see. Look how much room he has to the sideline. A lot of times when D-Jack and other guys running, they running right here. Mark did a good job. And he, again, he started here. Now, he's still wide. He started here. He got past this guy, and he started straightening up. He ain't just run straight out here to try to run away from God. He started straightening up, which gives Snoop some, some error, some room for error. A lot of receivers not even doing that, and I hope they pick up on this and start doing it because they ha they making Snoop and Lamar throw perfect balls along the sideline because this guy, this right here, He's probably the best defender ever in NFL, that white line. If you choose to go over there by it, I'm just going to push you out of it, push you out of bounds. But a dime. And I think, to me, this is probably Snoop's best throw of his career. This and the one to Bateman, uh, I don't know if it was last year or not. This is one of his better throws of his career. And the gain was what? 36 yards. All right, let's go on to play two. Play two on our countdown, which is a run, you can tell. Uh, first and 10 from the positive 46. A uh, 103 left in the third quarter. And this is, who is that back there? That's Gus back there. So you're getting power. You're basically getting power. He's going to be your kick out guy. You can get down blocks. And you see all that on the band. Ricard's going to try to lead up on the 44. Then you got Powers pulling for, should, should be the backside backer. Should be 54, but I don't think 54 going to make it. I think 54 going to get caught in this down, but this double team by Moses and Zyla, I think. And so they're going to end up putting powers on somebody else. 
Yeah, so it's supposed to be a double team right here. But he chose to slant that way, so now it's a solo block, and he can go ahead and climb, which is fine. You got Ricard working to the first thing out there. So now you got powers on 32, which is great. All the blocks are great. You got powers on 32. And look at that. Now you got Gus downhill, ready to do Gus things. Look at that gap. I can get you five yards on that. Five even. I'm like 4.9. I can't get you 5.1. I can get you 4.9. But he turned into a 37-yard gain. Just beating these cats up. These cats don't want to tackle him. They don't want to tackle him. They just, they don't. That's not a lot of effort from 22. That, look at that. They, that's not a lot of effort. <laughs> 37 yard game. Let's go on to number one. Let's go on to number one. And the number one play, which I'm going to go ahead and tell you when I actually saw it, thought it shouldn't have counted, but I could be wrong. I don't know if they challenged it or not because I was watching. The condensed version. But you're going to get a little out route by uh, Sammy Watkins. A little quick out. Something quick. We've been throwing quick game all game. You'll see on this one, not a lot of people open. Quick game, you can get hitches. Look at that. Basically, everybody on the same level. This dude down here blocking. So, basically, everybody on the same level. Five yard. The ball was on the 49. Uh, ball, we on. that's the 45. And they just covering it. What a lot of people going to do? They're going to play us man or play us a lot of underneath zones and dare you to do something different. So in this case, they covered it. But we got this, the, the crafty veteran up here, the savvy veteran that knows a little bit about scramble drill. And this little move right here, this little fake, like he going back down the line and then take off is what gets him open. Okay, he stops. Now he's going to act like he's going to come back. Got frozen. Froze this cat right here. Now I think he steps out right there. I think. Put in the comment section if they, I don't know if they reviewed this or not, because again, I saw the condensed version and I was listening to it when this happened. Let, let me know if they reviewed it or whatnot. Did he step out? And they obviously didn't if they reviewed it, but it looked like he did. Snoop with a good ball. Between two guys, Sammy makes this cat miss. And this turns out to be the biggest play of the game. 40-yard game. Sammy Watkins, who's 75 years old, from Snoop. Again, made that guy miss. Scramble drill. That's all it is. And this, and this is Sammy knowing what to do in scramble drill, whereas um, Proche and Duvernay and and maybe D-Jack, I mean, not D-Jack, um, D-Rob sometimes, they, they kind of stand around doing scramble drill. Sammy knows the, to move. He knows the move. He's been around long enough to know don't be stationary. Get yourself open. And he did that and made a huge play. Flipped the field. Well, not flipped the field, but I like got the momentum going. And that's why we didn't score a touchdown. I don't remember, but we got three points out of this. And this is the most explosive play of the game. This 40-yard scramble drill right here, which is what's going to happen when you have mobile quarterbacks. But that's it for this video right here. That's my top 10. Well, not my top 10, but the top 10 plays. From Sunday's game versus the Falcons. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming through. Uh, all the patrons, all the members, everybody that's super chats. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. super stickers, super thanks, cash out, PayPal, Patreon, all that good stuff. Uh, it's Merc. The link for the merch is in the description. Uh, New Year's coming up. Make sure you celebrate with your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Happy New Year's. Merry Christmas is a day or two past, but you know what it is. Um, thank you for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. See you soon. Peace.